Welcome to the Trendy Outdoorsman. In this new video series, we're going to randomly invest real money and try to beat the stock market in 2021. Well, kind of. Let me explain. In 2020, I was fortunate enough to achieve 281% gains on my capital from obsessive due diligence and trading. I used AI to scrape the web for researching on stocks. The average return for people is anywhere from 8 to 12% a year. So let's see if we can top that with this fun and educational game. I want to share my knowledge by providing tips and tools along the way, hopefully help you guys with your investing path. But please understand, this video is for entertainment purposes only and never invest listening to anyone without your own due diligence. Okay, so I'm creating this new video series concept that is one year long, and I'm gonna post one video every Monday with my top 10 hot stocks for that week, and they will be updated every week. And I'm gonna randomly invest 50 bucks to the winner from pickrandom.com, which is a free website where you can put any information in there and it'll pick randomly for you. I'll then provide my due diligence for why I added that stock to that list, and briefly go over some of the things to look for that week based on not just charts, but keyword algorithms for multiple websites, catching the latest chatter and news. I generally trade on Robinhood, if you use my link below and create a free account, we'll both get a free stock. But for this series, I'm going to use Webull because I need to start fresh, which is also free to start. This is my real account with real money being invested the same day that this video is posted. Okay, so here's the rules for this challenge. Number one, invest in growth stocks. Think future. This is not for day traders. This is for long-term investors. Rule number two, don't sell this year unless there's some shady stuff going on. And examples like insider trading, sketchy bookkeeping, or you know, CEOs getting ousted for fraud. I'm not gonna name any companies here. Nicola. <coughs> Rule number three, as much as I want to, I cannot invest in the same stock twice. It's gonna help diversify the portfolio throughout the year. And rule number four, they must be stocks or SPACs around the $50 mark. I won't do warrants for this video series to overcomplicate things. Let me do a separate video for those another day. Okay, so the segments that I'm interested in include EV, solar and renewable energy, automation, robotics and 3D printing, fintech, genomics, software and security, cryptocurrency, SPACs, and a little bit of cannabis and REM. Here's my top 10 for the week. They are from diversified market segments and the tickers are also gonna be listed below in the description. Also, I think we're gonna be doing two spins this week because we missed the first week of January, so we gotta catch up. Okay, here we go. Time for some Photoshop graphics. Okay, so the first one here is Bio Nano Genomics Inc. Stock ticker BNGO is a biogenetics play. Thanks to CRISPR, this sector has been ramping up and hopefully long overdue for growth in 2021. The stock currently trades around the $5 range. Bio Nano Genomics is a pharmaceutical company that kicked off 2021 with a dramatic announcement in breakthrough research in genes behind autism spectrum. The groundbreaking analysis sent shares skyrocketing over 840% since this December. They developed Optical Genome Mapping, OGM, which is a groundbreaking system that they call Cypher. It has the potential to change the clinical diagnostic landscape. This is a small cap stock. Hell, it was a penny stock a month ago, trading under a dollar, and it made it over $7 January 4th, and then had a small pullback since. So does this stock have some more upside? As far as technical pricing is concerned, it's not cheap, with most analysts giving it an overweight rating, but a few analysts still rated a strong buy. And remember, we're not buying this stock to sell it in the next few weeks, and we could miss a huge run-up again with more breakthrough news. So for long-term play, this is not a bad way to get into a revolutionary company. Time for some Photoshop graphics. Okay, so the second one, Foley Transamine Acquisition Corp, also known as BFT. This is a SPAC. This is a whole topic in itself. My next video is gonna go into detail about what SPACs are, but the basic concept is it's a company formed on the sidelines to raise capital through an IPO to acquire the company. It's also referred to as a blank check company. And it's in my top list because it's already been announced that it's gonna have a merger deal with Paysafe. Paysafe owns and operates B2B and B2C online payment networks, which offer e-cash, digital wallets, point of sale, e-commerce, and process solutions for clients, very popular online game like Fortnite, and also Twitch, which is an Amazon company. It also handles online gaming revenue payments for DraftKings and Bet365, which are also very popular right now. Paysafe is in a hot and growing sector, and it estimates it'll clock 103 billion in transactions in 2021. Now there isn't much in lieu of technical price analysis because all this started on December 7th, and if you day trade, the price is already factored in and trading around a $15 mark. I actually feel it's slightly undervalued at that mark, but if you're in it for the long haul, this is also a no-brainer. Okay, here we are logged into the Webull account. Um, 
it's a fresh account. I just threw in 150 bucks in here. There is no gains or losses. It's just to show you how we're starting here from absolute scratch. Here's the BNGO. So this is all the technicals. We're not gonna look at any of this because we're not day trading. We're just buying this as a long position. It's current price is up here. So we're gonna do a buy. We're gonna do a market buy, which means it's right now. Let's do uh, 10 shares, which will get us around 50 bucks. Let's uh, go ahead and place order. 10 shares market buy at 54.40. Yes. Okay. We've submitted the buy and uh, we're officially in. So next let's go to BFT. So we're going to scroll down past all the technicals. We're going to do a market buy and we're going to do three shares, I believe, because for $50, this will get us pretty close. This will be around 45. So we're going to force it in the day and let's place order successful let's go back to our account so we've got a 0.08 percent 0.06 percent so we're actually actively trading those two stocks come back next week we'll see how this goes please click the like button if you found value in this video and consider subscribing to this channel to follow this series every monday i'm going to provide tips and tools along the way and hopefully help you guys with your investing research remember technology is a tool for humans to better our lives so let's use it